Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about how to solve quadratic equations by graphing. Okay, so there's a bunch of methods to solving a quadratic equation. We looked at one method in previous videos known as factoring. So if you wanna review how to factor uh, trinomials or specifically a quadratic in order to solve it to find the solutions, I'll put the card in the top right hand corner right now. In this video we're gonna talk about graphing, how to solve by graphing. So I've done a video on how to graph a quadratic that's in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. That's the form we wanna make sure our quadratic is in. So I'll link the card um, for how to graph a quadratic right now. So it says step one, write the equation in standard form. So that's the ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero form that we are talking about. <clears throat> Once we have that equal to zero, we can then graph the related function. So instead of having ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, we can just set it equal to y so that we can graph the function. This is gonna give us a parabola, and this parabola could look one of three ways. Our parabola could cross the x-axis two times. So we look at step three, locate the x-intercepts. These are the solutions or our answer or the roots of the quadratic. So it could cross the x-axis two times. So we have two solutions or two real solutions. It could only cross or just touch the x-axis once. Maybe the vertex is on the x-axis. So there's only one real solution. Or the parabola could never touch the x-axis. So therefore there are no real solutions. So we're gonna see an example of each of those three solution types in this video. So example one, we have x squared plus two x equals eight. So the first thing we wanna do is write this as x squared plus two x minus eight equals zero. So we just move the eight from the right side of the equation to the left side. So now we're going to graph y equals x squared plus two x minus eight. So if you remember from how to graph a quadratic, the first thing we wanna do is find the axis of symmetry. So that is a vertical line, so it's x equal two, and it is opposite of b divided by two a. Okay, so now we can say x equals um, negative two divided by two times one. So we will say, x equals negative two over two, and we get x equals negative one. So now what we can do is we can put our vertical line or our axis of symmetry right here at negative one, and I'll make this a dashed line. And now we know our vertex is located on that axis of symmetry, so let's take negative one, and we're gonna plug it in for x to solve for y. So we're gonna say y equals negative one squared plus two times negative one minus eight. So negative one squared would be one, two times negative one would be minus two, and then minus eight. Okay, so one minus two, that give us negative one, minus eight, and we get y equals negative nine. So now we know our vertex is located at negative one, negative nine. So we can plot that, negative one, negative nine, that's gonna be down here at the very bottom of my graph. Okay, so that's kind of step one to graphing in standard form. Also, if we remember, the c value is our y-intercept. So we can graph that, and that's at negative eight. Now we know our axis of symmetry, we can reflect the y-intercept over the axis of symmetry to get that point right there. Okay, now we look and we see, okay, we have three points, we could draw our parabola through these three points, but we don't really know where our graph is going to cross the x-axis just yet. So let's look at some x values, um, a little bit greater than what we've seen so far. So we know that when x is zero, y is negative eight. So let's try, what is, what is y when x is one? Okay, so let's do, we'll do it right over here. So I'm gonna say y equals, and I'm just gonna plug one in for x. So we get y equals one plus two minus eight. So y equals three minus eight, which is equal to negative five. So now we have a point at one comma negative five. And we can put that point right there and we could reflect it over the axis of symmetry. So that's helpful, but still we don't know where our graph crosses the x-axis, so let's plug in two for x and see what we get. So now we're gonna do y equals two squared plus two times two minus eight. So y equals four plus four minus eight, which is gonna be zero, right? Four plus four, eight, eight minus eight, zero. So we have a point at two comma zero. So we can put that point right there, and now we can put our other x-intercept, we can reflect it over the axis of symmetry. So now if we draw our parabola in here, see if I can get my program to give me a parabola, good. Now give me a second to line it up. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now we draw our 
arrows here, possibly. There we go. All right, and so now our two solutions are our x-intercepts. So there's one here. I don't know why my, my highlighter is not highlighting on my graph. There's one here and there's one here. So we would say our answers are x equals 2 and x equals negative 4. Okay, so we had two real solutions with that example number one. All right, now example number two. Solve x squared plus 4x equals negative 4. So let's add that 4 so that we can now say x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And now we can change this to y equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay, now let's find our axis of symmetry. So let's say x equals opposite of b over 2a. So x equals opposite of 4 over 2 times 1. So we get x equals negative 4 over 2 and we get x equals negative 2 for our axis of symmetry. All right, so let's change this to a dashed line. And now let's go and find our vertex. So we're going to take negative 2, and we're going to plug it in for x. So negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 4. So we get y equals 4 minus 8 plus 4. So 4 minus 8 would be negative 4, and negative 4 plus 4 would get us to 0. So now we know our vertex is located at negative 2 comma 0. Okay, our y-intercept would be right here. This is positive 4. And now we can reflect this point over. That was 2 units to the right, so 2 units to the left would be right here. So now when we draw our parabola, see if I can get mine to show up. Let me do it one more time. There we go. We draw a parabola and notice what happens. Okay, our vertex is located on the x-axis. So that means that's the only place that this parabola or this graph, this function, is going to cross the x-axis. So there is only one solution, and this is x equals negative 2, and that is our only solution or our only real solution for this quadratic. Okay, last example. So we've seen two real solutions, we've seen one real solution. Let's look what's going to happen when there's no real solutions. So now we have negative x squared equals 4x plus 8. So let's add x squared. So now we're going to have 0 equals x squared plus 4x plus 8. And now we can write this at, in function form as y equals x squared plus 4x plus 8. So let's find our axis of symmetry, opposite of b over 2a. So b is 4, so negative 4 over 2 times 1, because a is 1. And this is going to give us x equals negative 4 over 2, and we get x equals negative 2 for our axis of symmetry. So we draw that in there as a vertical line. Let's change it to a dashed line, and now let's find our vertex. So I'm going to say y equals, and we're going to plug negative 2 in for x, negative 2 squared, plus 4 times negative 2, plus 8. So y equals 4, minus 8, plus 8, and we get y equals and 4 minus a would be negative 4, plus a get us back to positive 4. So our vertex is located at negative 2, 4. So negative 2, 4. And now we see our y-intercept is our value that's in the place of c, so that's at 8. And now we can reflect that over our axis of symmetry. So look what happens. When we draw our parabola here, our parabola is opening up, and the vertex is not on the x-axis. So there are no points here of our parabola that are going to cross the x-axis. So in this case, we're going to say there are no real solutions. Okay. So we saw three examples, one where we had two real solutions, one where we had one real solution, and one where we had no real solutions. And that is how you solve a quadratic equation by graphing.